The day is here, everyone. The day is here. This is it, you guys. It is the end of Not Interested. This has been a wild ride since the beginning. I My mind is absolutely blown that this is, like, it. Like, this is the end of our ending with Liam. Like, all of this time, all these videos, all these chapters has led to this moment. This is going to be it. This is going to be the ending between Brie and Liam, what we have been doing this entire story. I know I keep repeating myself, but I am shook. So, I don't know what to do with myself, but... What I do know was I need to start reading this and reacting to it so we can get on with the story. So let's just get our tissues ready. Let's get everything prepared. Give it a big thumbs up. Give it a huge big thumbs up for this amazing story and for all the time and for Brie and Liam. Go follow the amazing author Madison on her Instagram. Her link is down below in my description box. She has created such a beautiful world and story and characters and I have been honored to be able to read and react to this. So go follow her and show her lots of love and all the time and effort and love she put on this story. Subscribe if you haven't already for future amazing Amazing stories and let's start the drama. Okay, so if you haven't already, go watch part one. This is part two of the ending, so the finale. Ooh, after they had a steamy moment out there, you guys look weird. What happened now? Dawson is looking at him like, what's up, baby? <laughs> Dawson is like, we know. Like, we know the T. You are so... Oh, he slapped him. Oh, my gosh. That's what you get for being dumb. Like, what is it? What was the dumb part? Kissing her or you're going to be all right? Hug me, broski. I... Oh, like, I love how far their little friendship has gotten. It's so cute. The next morning. Brie must be going through so much. Okay, fine. I understand that. You don't want to cause any problems for anyone. And that's definitely understandable. But here's the thing. You didn't answer my question. <gasps> when he put her on the spot, be honest with me. And most importantly, with yourself. Do you still have feelings for me? Brie needs to stop running from her feelings and just go for him. I get that he's like an engaged man and everything. And technically, yes, I do not agree with like going after a married man or like a person, in a anybody in a relationship, really. But this is different. Auntie. Auntie. Oh, she's not having it. <laughs> Aunt Bree. Brat. Who me? Please try not to do that again. I want to live past 30 after all. It's your fault for ignoring me. Oh, I love her. She's so sassy. You seem sad, Auntie. Are you okay? Ty looks exhausted. Me today, actually. It's nothing for you to worry about, sweetie. Just some boy problems is all. You'll understand when you're older. Yeah, I wouldn't understand boys that much. They're gross anyways. But if no, but if I know anything from seeing mommy and daddy be together, I know that's where I want to be. Oh, that's so cute. So don't worry, auntie. You'll have what mom and dad has. I just know it. We will once we go snatch Liam back. That was really sweet, Penny. I'm sure auntie appreciates the advice. Let me take over the crown making, yeah? I want to talk with her a bit anyways. You're not going to ruin my masterpiece, are you? Honey, are you forgetting who taught you how to make them in the first place? And who has the ability to take away your phone privileges? Ooh. Fine. Don't mess it up, Dad. <laughs> Jeez. She spends way too much time with her mother. So you're going to be taking care of me while you work your magic? That's my intention. 
can I say just how refreshing it is real quick? Like, okay, like, I know Limelight is so cute and, like, we've come a long way with it, but something about art just gets me going. I just love art style. So that's all you came here for? Just to make a little crown for me? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the real reason? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ty, just out with it already. I can tell when there's something bothering you. What's up? DJ told me what happened. You kissed him. (gasps) Oh, wait, did he kiss you? Well, actually, it was a mixture, you know, whatever, besides the point. Y'all kissed? I know, we were all shook when that happened. Oh, I was so scared for a second. I thought that reflection was about to stay. Oh, this is about to turn into mirrors real quick. Hey, D, what do you think about this one? Oh, I just love seeing his hair like that. Yes, now get it. Like, I'm so emotional over the hairstyle. I know I should have brought Rex instead. He's better at this than you. My word. Just look at you. Dashing. Sleek. (laughs) And sexy. It looks absolutely divine on you. You should totally get it. (laughs) Liam's face is like, was that good enough for you, princess? D, this is important. (laughs) The wedding is in only a few days. And whose fault is that for getting a tux this late in the game? We wouldn't be in this ordeal if you weren't, if it wasn't for your procrastinating. If it makes you feel better, I really do think that tux looks best. Get that one so we can finally leave and get something to eat. I'll take that eye rolls and astounding, okay? I'll be in the car. (gasps) You know, you have quite the staring problem. I know you're just naturally annoying, but something seems off. Want to help me understand why? I can't believe you kissed her. Not this again. Like, dude, I left you guys alone for like five minutes. How did things even get to that point? It just, it just happens between the both of them, my goodness. In all honesty, it went by so fast. And began so innocently. We were both visibly nervous. And both of us didn't really know what to do or say. But we eventually started to open up little by little. We laughed and reminisced on the past. And just started to talk like normal people. It felt really nice. I've never been more happy. But then he started to say weird things. Like, they say alcohol is a liquid courage, but I didn't think it was actually true. I just said things without thinking. We argued after that, and then things just escalated further. He then asked me if I still had feelings for him. And then... Bam! Y'all kissed. That's what happened. I kissed her. You know, in a situation like this, I should tell Christy what happened, as a sign of respect and kindness for her. But I've been there, and trust me, I would not want to put you through that. I don't deserve sympathy. You should tell Christy. It's what I deserve. I regret it. Do you, though? Like, do you really? Christy has a right to know, but Liam, I know this is a really screwed up situation you're in right now, but it's your life. You're a grown man. I'm not going to fight your battles. You're the only person that controls how this all ends. Leave Christy. Like the thing about it is, is Dawson's girl from what we've seen is like a sweetheart, but Christy, like she was, wasn't she like hitting Liam and stuff? Uh Uh-uh. But one thing for sure, although that does not excuse Liam's actions, I'll always have your back. He should have had a talk with Bree, not just kiss her. Just don't do it again, please. All right, I'll stop nagging so we can order, yeah? <laughs> Poor Dawson just wants his food so badly. Thanks, Dawson. You're the best. Aw, oh, no problem, sweetie. <laughs> now let's stop the stappy stuff and eat. This whole thing is so conflicting. I really don't know what to do. Well, this is quite the doozy you're in. 
I'd be lying if I said this is going to turn out good for everyone. I mean, he is engaged after all. And with that kiss alone, I think we can all infer that he still has some untold feelings for you. But you know what? Screw it. Let's just act as if that kiss never happened. Let's move on and get you your happy end. Leave it behind us. Wait. I feel like this is some reverse psychology. I really want to, I do. I know it's selfish of me, but it would be so much more easier if I didn't have any feelings for him. But I do. And he's getting married to this beautiful girl, and all I can do is watch. I wish I never left. But at least in six years, but I guess that's just my selfish wish. Oh, and Ty looks so sad. I think everybody is. Yes, the circumstances really suck. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything and tell you it's going to be just fine. Things will never go perfectly as planned, and all we can do is deal with it. Yes, he's getting married. And yes, Christy is a very pretty girl. I mean, Christy's pretty, but Brie is gorgeous, so. But one thing rest assured. Aww. Brie Knightley is one of a kind. Loyal, smart, tough. And undoubtedly beautiful. Aww, Ty is the sweetest. She's gonna strive, with or without Liam. So don't worry. When I say any guy is lucky to have you, just know I never lie. We're in this together. Can I please have a hug? This is so cute. Ty is the cutest. Everything will turn out. I promise. After that, the days went on. Little by little, the wedding was nearing. Ty and everyone was invited and were eager to go. I still don't know if I'm going to go. Or if I even can go. After everything, looking at both Liam and his bride would be... torturous. The day of the wedding. <gasps> this is it, y'all. What is going to happen? It's so cute that he has his girlfriend. Oh my god. Oh, Ty, look at Ty all cleaned up. All the kids are like, uh. <laughs> it's like crying at everybody. <laughs> Whew, this is the big moment, y'all. I'm so nervous. What is Liam gonna do? Oh my gosh, okay, so everybody is here. This is the big moment. Ooh, I'm nervous. Holy bankruptcy. I guess Liam the old boy is doing good for himself. I thought the ceremony is outside. It is, this is just part of the venue. This is only the waiting area. Mom? Yes. Where's Auntie? Um, well, 
Tai. I don't know, kids. She wasn't in her room when I checked. Is she coming here later? Um, well... Who's coming later? <gasps> it's Liam. <laughs> oh, everyone's like cheering. It's the big congratulations. Happy for you, dude. You look absolutely handsome. Christy is a lucky girl. Well, thank you, everyone. It means the world that you all came. I'll see everyone after the ceremony. But for now, I need to speak to... <gasps> but she's not here. Ma'am. Oh, it's Ty. You're talking to me? Yes, you. I have something to show you. Bring Kai and Penelope if you want. All right. Let's go, kids. It's like, what is he going to show them, like, with the kids? They're a lot like you. I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up being just like you when they get older. One can only hope. You know, this is really weird for me, right? As I expected it to be. But I just thought it would be nice to catch up with my little brother. Ooh, Liam, you thought it would be nice after Ty tried? Because there's obviously a lot I missed. I might not say it a lot, but I do love you and everyone dearly. I wasn't a good brother, and I'm sorry for that. I wish we could go back. Don't we all? Liam, I know you love me, and I love you too. Even after all that stuff you put me through. I still couldn't get myself to hate you. I feel like those were such good lyrics right there, like. But there's a lot of mending that needs to be done to get back to the way we were. My family, for one. Do you still want to have a future with those kids? Of course. Then start your process now. Because you're far behind, bro. I really missed you. I'm glad to have you back. I refuse to cry when I'm looking this dapper butt. Thank you. I feel the same way, buddy. Aww. That's so cute they mended the relationship. So what did you want to show me? You called me out here for that, right? What's so exclusive about this surprise? Grandma! Grandma! Oh my gosh! I'm shaking! Surprise! Mom! Tyler! Oh my gosh! Look at both my boys. You've both grown so much. We're glad to see you both well. When did you guys get here? And why didn't you call me? Honey, you don't understand how much I wanted to. But in order to keep it a surprise, I had to be the bad guy and take her phone away. Thank you for your sacrifice. I'm just glad to see you both again. I'm shook at all this. Should we just ask? I don't know if we should. Ask for what? You can ask us anything. Well, since we got here, we've been wondering if... <gasps> if Bree is here, will Bree be joining us today? Oh, they dropped the B word. Ooh. Well, I asked her to come, but... The only person that would know is Ty. I'm sorry if it's a really touchy subject, but we just wanted to see how she's been doing after everything. We, I mean, I put her through a lot in the past, and even then, she still did so much for us. She's the one that saved my life after all. We'd love to see her again. I wish I could tell you a straight answer, but... Honestly, I have no idea where she is. She left somewhere this morning without a notice and hasn't come back. Oh, and Liam walked away. Oh, It's okay. Don't worry about it, son. There will always be another time. Let's just try to be happy on this happy day. <laughs> is it a happy day, though? I think the wedding is about to start. Let's go and get these kids in their seats. 
I guess that's best. Come on, kids, let's go to our seats. Babe, what's wrong? Has Brie arrived yet? And no, not that I've seen. Babe, I'm sure she'll be here when the reception starts. Go take your seat, it's about to start. Honey, lighten up. My Ty used to always smile every chance he got, remember? I'm sorry, Mom. I guess the stress was starting to get to me. I'll relax. It's starting. Oh my gosh, this is the big moment. Like, but like not the moment we want. Like, we want it to be with Brie. Say no, Liam. You know you want to say no. The answer is just just say I don't up there. You get up there, you say I don't, and then you dip. Huh. I mean, she looks nice. <laughs> this looks wrong. I'm sorry. I only see Brie right there and not Christy, family and friends. We are gathered here today to see as these two young souls move forward in their life as a married couple. Before we begin, is there anyone that objects as a beautiful couple? Um, yes, priest. There is a whole fan base. If not, let's begin. You don't want to do it, Liam. Stop. You're not happy. Sorry, I'm like, got stuck in traffic. Ah. She's here. Ah. Stunt up there, Brie. Steal the show. She looks so pretty. Glad you made it. Now sit. It just started. Thank you. Aww. He needs to do the right thing. Plus, it's not fair to Christy. He doesn't like her. He's blushing. Ooh. Question mark. Miss Porter. Ah, yes. Do you have a speech for us today? Sure. Sure. Liam, you've been with me for four years now, and that also means you've tolerated me for four years now, and I can't thank you enough. Oh, honestly, I don't know what the future holds. It's been kind of rock in a relationship, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. But if you'll have me, then I'll do my best to make our life better than it was before. Okay, that's not even, okay, this is so like, I swear it. Liam, run. This is not good. You always have a piece of my heart. A piece? Chrissy doesn't even like you. That was the most blah speech I've ever heard. She doesn't even want to do it. Thank you, Miss Porter. That was very touching. Was it touching? Because maybe that was just me, but I didn't. Mr. Archer, you have the stage. Do the right thing, Liam. Just dip it. Thank you. Honestly, there's not that much for me to say because you laid it out perfectly as is. Oh my, the only thing I can say is thank thank you. Thank you for spending four years with me. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Just thank you. But thank you for sharing, Mr. Archer. That was the most like unromantic little speeches. Now on to the vows. Christina, do you take Liam to be your wedded husband? To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part? Is she gonna say I do? Because she doesn't look like she wants to. They are lying if they say I do. I do. Girl, stop lying to yourself. Liam, don't do it. Go with Brie, who you were happy with. Liam... 
do take Christina to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do you part. Liam, I, I, oh my gosh, everyone's looking like, because everyone's like, you don't. Why is he pausing? Oh my gosh. Sir, can I have a moment with my fiance? Oh, it's very urgent. Oh my gosh, he isn't saying I do. Look, dude, I'm just here to wed you both and get some party food. Do what you gotta do. This is so uncomfortable. Like, at this point, like, you know, where are they going? Where is he taking my daughter? What happened? Ty? They're gonna call it off. Please call it off, call it off, call it off. Is he gonna throw up or what? Did he, did she beat him up? She beat him up. No, I'm just being extra. I don't think she did. Maybe she did, I don't know. Oh, she took off. Be honest with me. You weren't gonna say I do. <gasps> Were you? Oh my gosh. Look, I know things haven't been easy between you and me, but you should have just called off the wedding as a whole. I just can't understand you. I didn't want to hurt you. Well, whoop de doo look where we are right now. I'm sorry. Honestly... I'm kind of relieved. Oh, I mean, I know our relationship is going nowhere but down. But when he proposed, I thought it was a green light that our relationship wasn't all the way dead. But man, was I wrong. Liam, let's just end this, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all, yes! It's better for the both of us. I agree, girly. I think that's for the best. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Honestly, thank you. I'm really am sorry. Is that the only thing you ever say? Okay, like, this is for the best, and that the wedding was called off. Although the wedding was not happening anymore, Liam and Christy decided to hold a party for all the guests that came. They did spend a lot on the venue anyways. Everyone close to the bride and groom stayed by their side for support. Including myself. What an experience! Like, that is something to talk about for days. My goodness. I bet everyone, honestly, this is for the best. Honeybee, it's okay. Yeah, dude, it was the right thing to do. Yeah, son, your brother is right. You could do way better anyways. AKA Brie Knightley. What? Found her. <gasps> is this the beautiful Brie? It is. She was at the bar downing the vodka bottle. <laughs> Yeah, until someone interrupted. Bree, sweetie. Aww. Both of them are shook. Oh, honey, look at you. You've grown so much. It's good to see you, Melody. You too, lion. Are you here to comfort Liam? <laughs> I mean, if you want to use the word comfort, like, you can use that. He feels really guilty about everything that's happened tonight. Yeah, I bet. But I don't really know how I could help, though. <laughs> all of them are like, we know how. We know how. We all know. Why are you guys looking at me like that? The winks. Are... Oh, they all dipped. Oh. <laughs> Ty. Uh-oh. 
SpaghettiOs for the best figures. Are you guys kidding me? Good luck. Oh, this is so cute. He, oh my gosh, okay, I don't even have the energy to make an awkward conversation out of this. Are you alright? Meh. A lot of things happen tonight, Liam. If you have something you want to get off your chest, you don't need to hold back. You said you didn't want to be the reason for the wedding cancellation. Ah, it's a good one, baby. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's really impossible for you not to be the one for the reasons why. Ah. One of the reasons? What? You said I was one of the reasons. So there are other reasons, huh? I'm just not happy. Miserable, even. The relationship was just not in good shape. Me and Christy fought with each other daily. It just didn't feel right to keep her chained down with the man she couldn't get along with. And it wasn't healthy for me to marry a girl I couldn't fully love. I understand completely. But if you weren't happy, why didn't you just break up with her early on? Wow, what a great idea. It's not like I thought of that it's a bunch of numbers already. Look, I've never broken up with anyone ever in my life. I hate hurting the people around me. What can I say? I just prefer being a people pleaser, not giving a crap what I felt. And now, look, I put myself in the worst possible position. The guy who basically cheated and was the reason the wedding failed. Oh, Liam, no. You could have just told me that. I would have been there for you. I'm your friend after. Bree, no, you were not. You can never just be a friend to me. Friends don't kiss other friends like we did a few days ago. Oh, oh my gosh. I just can't see you as a friend anymore. When we kissed, that was the first time I didn't act on anyone's feelings but mine. Until this day, I don't regret it. Even if people call me stupid for that. Oh boy. All right, dude, come here. You're going to be okay. I promise. And thus life moved forward after that day. Okay, so what happened in life though? Weeks rolled by after the wedding. Liam was still down in the dumps from all the mishaps that happened the past month. And every day that went by... oh, I was there to help him bounce back. Rise and shine, sweetie. Come on, you can't spend all day in your bed. They are so getting to know each other again. No romance, no getting back together, as some of our friends have clearly suggested. Just us being friendly and catching up the six years we lost. For now. For now. I just wanted to make sure he knew he wasn't going to be alone through this. We just subconsciously began to always be around each other. He would tag along on my grocery shopping. I would accompany him and his bar breaks. Our bond just became stronger without us even noticing. We took it slow. Of course, there were moments. Not going to specify what kind of moments. Ooh. But there were certainly moments. There are definitely some moments. Y'all just do it. But honestly, who knows? They're so cute together. 
oh my gosh, no one knows what will happen in the future if we get together, stay friends, or even if we decide to split. This is so emotional. We can only hope what the future holds. But for now, oh, let's just live one step at a time. They are so cute. They're dating. Oh. oh my gosh, they got married. This is so cute. Wait, did they have... Oh my gosh, wait, they had a kid. Did they have a kid? Or wait, 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 wait. No, that's... Oh my gosh, I'm so shook. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, wait, Bree's hair is so long. She looks so pretty. Mom, my tournament is almost starting. We should really get going. I'm sorry, hon, I was spacing out. Go get your dad. I'll be out in a second. Oh, and she left the necklace. This is so emotional. The end. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is so emotional. That is it. That is the end of Not Interested. Brie and Liam finally got together. After all the things that we've been through, they got married. They had their daughter. This is so beautiful. I actually got, like, so, like, choked up for a minute, which, like, I was actually, like, tearing up. Like, that was so emotional. And, like, all the pictures were showing. Like, I cannot believe it. Like, all of these years... This entire story, this entire journey, this is so, mo like, oh my gosh, you guys don't even know, like, this is such a moment. This is so special to me because this is one of my, probably my longest running story. And so it's so emotional that, like, looking back, like, this is all finished. Like, thank you to everyone who has been there watching and listening to my reactions, whether you started in this episode, chapter, whatever you want to call it, or the first one in the middle, wherever. Like, thank you so much for all your continued love and support. It has meant the absolute world to me. Like, looking back from when I posted the first video to, like, now, thank you so much, everybody. Like, I cannot say, like, thank you enough. Like, just thank you. It means the entire world to me. And for everybody, like, oh my gosh, you guys, but this is it. Like, Bree's journey. There is apparently going to be a not interested too. So go follow Madison on her Instagram once again in my description box. And go follow her for all of the updates on it. And go show her lots of love because this story is so beautiful and amazing. And it's so emotional. But I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Once again, I cannot say, stop saying thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. This means the world to me. This was such a fun experience. I hope you guys stick around for some more fun stories and some more video games and whatever else we do. So I just adore all of you. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.